guys and welcome back to the channel. You already know who it is. It's Ron Ton from Jaholics and we are back in the lab on this cold Cali winter. I know that a bunch of you guys are going to be hating on me. California doesn't get cold. Da 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 da. But for us Californians, it's pretty cold. I do appreciate our Cali winters because we're not snowed out like the majority of you guys. Um, so I do appreciate that. But big ups to you guys who are suffering right now in this cold winter season. But for today, we're going to be working on the coupe once again on the cooling issue. When I say cooling issues, I'm not having cooling issues as far as like overheating. I just want to make sure that my car runs cooler um, as far as that goes. So what I did was I went ahead and bought a, a cooling panel uh, from the guys uh, at LRB Speed. Thanks to Landon. This piece is really good. I really like the quality. Um, it's a three-piece cooling panel that goes on top of the... Uh, headlight and center grill for the S13 conversion. Um, I'll show you that guys right now. Alright, so by cooling panel what I'm trying to tell you guys is that there's a piece that covers the headlight, center grill, and the other headlight. Pretty much it boxes in um, the radiator on the top part so that when the air rushes through the car it doesn't go out the openings. I'm not too sure if they ever did make a three-piece uh, cooling panel. Um, because I know, but don't quote me, um, on the coupes with this conversion, I'm not too sure. The only thing I've seen was a Cusco cooling panel and it was a center one. And even if that, I only found like an ARC S14 one. So I don't even know if they made one for our car. But um, nonetheless, uh, LRB Speed, uh, they make one. So I went ahead and bought it. And here's the piece. So pretty much out the box, I'm going to get a instructions which are right there and then this is your center piece and then the two headlight covers so at the box is what it is from LRB you're going to get these in the brush aluminum finish um, I don't know if I want to paint them I'll probably leave them um, it's a good contrast but uh doesn't look that bad so brushed aluminum is what it comes from from LRB and uh, there it is so I say three piece but it, it's four but this uh, centerpiece is actually made of two pieces, so once you put the clip on, I already did one, you're pretty much going to screw it down together like so, and then that makes your centerpiece right there. So um, There are some provisions on the centerpiece. If you do have a hood latch, he'll cut out the hood latch. Um, if you do have the AC bolt, he'll cut that also. Um, but for me, um, I pretty much wanted a blank piece to make sure that the air is not going through that center center cut out from the uh, hood latch so it's one solid piece so there it is and so now we're gonna install this bad boy let's get to it first thing on the list what we gotta do is take off the headlight um, and also the center grill so that we can have access to this area here um, we really don't have to but I want to because there's a lot of stress that I have on these um, headlight brackets so I'm going to actually just take them off so that I can undo some of that stress. Um, so that when I remove the uh, bolts that hold down the bracket, it doesn't shift. And then making it harder for me to work on it. So we're going to go ahead and get that right now. Now that you get those done, you can remove the uh, bolts that hold the headlight bracket to the core support. And so with the not that much stress on it now that there's no, you know, headlight hooked up to it, you can freely move throughout this area without having to make the shift over, making it harder for you to put the new hardware in. So we're going to go do that right now. Try your best not to, to strip them out or break the bolt inside because obviously that's not going to be a good day. So take your time with it. It should come out this time.
See, over time, these bolts, they get like rusted, so don't go too fast, or you'll break the bolt in there and then you're gonna have to extract it out. Make for a longer install, not for a good day, so take your time. Alright, so on the instructions it says install the panels first and don't tighten it down as if you're going to do like a final tighten on these. You just want to make sure everything is a snug fit, but don't final tighten it because you still got more pieces to go. So the first thing we got to do is install the um, headlight cover. So here it is of the panel. So this goes here and then the other piece like so. Alright. So then the next piece that you're going to want to install after that is the uh, mounting bracket for the center um, panel. It's a two piece so what it, what it is is you're going to have to install these clips. I've already done one. I got to do the other one but you're going to install these clips so that you can screw down and connect this piece together. This setup right here becomes your uh, center plate so we're going to install the clip on the other side and uh, install that so here it is. So when you get this out the package, you're gonna get all this hardware. There you go. So one clip here and the other clip here. We're gonna go ahead and install it now and lock it down to the core support. So using the hardware that they came with. All right, so from LRB, they do supply new hardware. Um, the only thing they don't supply is an Allen key. So I think this is like a five. Five on the Allen key size and that should take care of all the hardware that comes um, from LRB. So let's do that. So two top panels, the center piece will all be held down by the new hardware that's given by LRB. So it'll be just a uh, Allen bolt with a washer. There it is, it's coming together. Again, tighten everything down, but don't tighten it like you're gonna final tighten everything. So just make sure it's a snug fit and everything is lined up. part like says everything moves so that's the hardest part so just take your time with it um, just try not to strip anything that's the most important part all right so basically I lined everything up as best as I could started the threads on the new hardware if it is uh, you know rough to put it in I suggest putting a little bit of WD-40 on the threads and then just gently go back and forth um, hoping that you don't strip your new hardware or break the bolt. So that's what you want to do. Make sure everything goes in nice and smooth. Slow process, so take your time with it. If you do have used headlight brackets, most likely those threads are all rusted out. So just take your time. Your corners also come with new hardware. So basically a screw and washers and then those go on the top of the panel to hold down the corner lights. So again, don't tighten it like you're gonna final tighten it. Just make sure it's a snug fit. Before we do that, I'm actually going to go um, secure the headlights to the bracket. So I went ahead and secured the headlights to the bracket. So now um, we're going to go ahead and secure the corner light to the uh, panel. Again, comes with new hardware from LRB. It would be a screw and a washer. Same thing as you did with the uh, bolt for the uh, cord support. So it be bolt washer. You could be using a screw and a washer. Now what you want to do now that you finally got all the panels in place, now you want to lock everything down. So you'll want to start from the center and work your way out. 
Don't over tighten it. Just tighten it so that you know you're good to go. Now the last piece is to attach the center portion of the panel. Again, it'll come with new hardware to hold down the center piece, Allen bolt and a washer. Um, and don't forget to put those clips. Without those clips, you won't be able, you won't have anything to thread into. So those clips is what these bolts thread into. There you have it guys, done, three piece cooling panel, LRB speed. Alright guys, that's it for the video, I hope you guys like the install, it's a pretty cool piece. Um, again, that is the LRB speed, uh, three piece cooling panel, um, comes in brushed aluminum like I said in the beginning of the video. I don't know if I want to leave it brushed aluminum, but for now, it it looks good, it completes the engine bay. Um, good quality part, the price is great, and um, I actually got this piece a couple of days after Black Friday and the whole Cyber Monday, so landing at LRB was still cool enough to give me the little discount. I was lagging on it, I slept on it, um, but I got it at a good price. So again, big ups to those guys. Um, hit up the website, I'll leave the link in the description and also right here. And also, if you're not following me on social media, I'll leave that also in the link. It's savageones.us. And um, stop by the store, savageones.bigcartel.com. Again, that's savageones.bigcartel.com. And as always, hype is for the moment and style is forever. Deuces. I'm back. I lied. Just one more thing. It's been a year since I've started my YouTube channel. Thank you for all the support. Um, all the purchases that go through the website goes directly back into my YouTube channel. So again, thank you for all that. This is not my job, you know. I do this on the side. Like I said, I just like making the videos for you guys. I get the products that you guys might be interested in. So think of me as a guinea pig. I try them out. You know, you guys can see it. It's All these parts are fairly simple to install. Um, but again, thank you for a wonderful year. And I'm, I'm hoping for many more to come. So that's it, guys. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Deuces.